These are the jump squats. I did three to four sets, 20 to 30 reps. And I will have a link down below where I got the resistant bands. Honestly, I don't know what this workout's called, but I do three to four sets, 20 to 30 reps, and 30 second rest in between sets, and I'm holding a 15 pound kettlebell. I don't know what this workout is called either, but let me know if you do. So I do three to four sets and 12 to 15 reps on each leg and rest in between sets. This workout is the donkey kicks. I do three to four sets in each leg, 12 to 15 reps and 30 second rest in between sets. These are the hip thrusts with the 20 pound dumbbell. It can either be 20, 10, 15, whatever you prefer. And I do three to four sets, 15 to 20 reps, and as well 30 second rest in between sets. After doing workouts with the resistant band, I go and continue with weightlifting. This workout is called split lunges on Smith machine. I do 15 to 20 reps on each leg, three to four sits. This also depends on how much weight I'm lifting. Out of all the leg workouts that exist, this one is my favorite. Typically, I start off with 25 on each side and do 15 to 20 reps for one set. Then I increase the weight, lower the reps, and stop until I can't anymore. If you are squatting heavy, I recommend you to have a spotter and use the belt so that your back stays straight. And also try to take 15 to 30 second rest in between the sets. On the leg press, I do 140 pounds and I do 3 to 4 sets, 15 and 20 reps and I go up in weight and lower the reps. So as you can tell, I struggled to record this clip. But anyways, this is the leg extension. I did four sets, 15 reps, 90 pounds. And just, I increased the weight and lowered the reps depending on how I feel that day. So, I literally just got out of the gym, did legs. I'm looking out of my hydro joke. Now, I'm gonna go home, eat some protein, and by the way, I have no freaking gas. Look at that, hold up. Trying to get in focus. Yeah, I think it's time to get gas. But we'll see. Put y'all back over here. Okay. Go ahead and go, and I'll be back. So I got home from the gym, and now I got my breakfast ready, my protein. Let me show you guys. Got my protein, which I use the this one whey protein, and then I prepared myself. Oatmeal, which I use the Walmart brand. Um, so focus. There we go. Then here's my final result. Let me focus it. Just got oatmeal, banana, blueberries, strawberries, and my protein. And now I got to. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we'll clean my room, do some laundry, and get ready. See y'all soon. Usually, when I do my makeup, I start off with my brows, and I usually underline the bottom part of the brow, then the top. And I am using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Neutral Brown. And do the same with the other brow, the bottom, then the top. And as you can tell, my brows are not the same, but it's okay. Once I'm done outlining the brows, I fill them in with a pomade by Salon Perfect in the shade Dark Brown. 
I am just filling in the empty spaces of the brow to make it look bolder. I try to focus it more on towards the middle and the end of the brow. If you are going to put product on the inner part of the brow, make sure to go light handed and blend it out with the spoolie. You want your brows to look as natural as possible. Next, you are going to need concealer to cover out the bottom and top of the brows. Try to use a concealer that is two shades lighter than your skin tone. And to blend out the concealer, I use a deluxe crease brush by Real Techniques. After my brows, I prime my face using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and I mainly focus this on my T zone. The foundation that I'm using is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation and it has SPF of 15. It's cruelty free and I am in the shade Buff Beige and I just use my fingers. I dip my fingers into the, the cushion foundation and I just put it on my face. I know that's unsanitary but whatever. I made sure to wash my hands before this. To blend out the foundation, I use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and this foundation looks kind of light but we'll make it work. To conceal my under eyes, I use the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer in the shade Light Medium and ELF HD Lifting Concealer in the shade Light. I also add concealer to the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and the middle of my forehead. To blend out the concealer, I use the same sponge I used to blend out my foundation. Before setting my concealer, I like to blend it out first so it doesn't crease. And then I go in with a contour brush by Real Techniques using the powder Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. For bronzer, I am using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and the shade Deep Bronzer. I just got done doing my makeup and now well there's really not much to my day I'm gonna go visit my boyfriend and then for a little bit for like an hour or two and then I'm gonna go to work at 1 and I stay there till like 10 30 so and then after work 
work on homework. So that's pretty much it. See you in the next one.